hello guys welcome to my youtube channel in today's video i will be reviewing to you the topics highly suspected to be present in this year's science paper one examination so this video is not a blueprint but just a guide to help you prepare for your science paper one examination all right so this video which is called the science paper one 2022 prediction contains the topics highly suspected to be present in this year's science paper one examination so don't treat this video as a complete leakage but treat this video as just a mere guide that is going to help you study and also give you the opportunity to perform well during your examination so without wasting much of your time guys let's go through into the video all right so we'll start with the general physics so under general physics you must be able to state the SI units for physical quantities and also you must be able to express numbers in stated significant figures and also you must be able to express numbers in a standard form then from here you must be able to read the micrometer screw gauge and you must be able to answer questions on a simple pendulum and also be able to determine the center of mass of a regular and irregular object and also state and explain the types of equilibrium then you have also to be able to state the factors that affect the stability of objects then from here you move to another topic called mechanics under mechanics you look at the distance time graph displacement time graph and also velocity time graph so you must be able to answer questions on these and also you must be able to answer questions on the effects of forces on the bodies under this part you must be able to answer questions dealing with the first law of motion or the law of inertia and also answer questions on friction application of friction and how to reduce friction also look at the consequences of friction in real life from here you must also be able to uh, uh, answer questions on motion in a circular path due to a perpendicular force and also be able to uh, answer questions on energy work and power under this uh, sub under this topic you must be able to answer questions dealing with energy transformation and also uh, uh, you must be able to answer questions dealing with power and the efficiency all right so guys this video is really really going to help you and if you happen not to have materials for your physics or paper one please I have some good good materials that I am likely or that I'm willing to give to you for free to help you prepare for this examination however if you want my number one recommendation the books that were written by myself which are on sale because they are not free because I really spent some time to come up with these good materials please let me know in the comment section all right so from here you need also to look at sources of uh, renewable energy and non-renewable energy. So you must be able to state sources of renewable energy and non-renewable energy. And also you must be able to state the effects of the use of energy resources on the environment and also be able to look at this topic known as simple machine. Under simple machine, you have to look at the pulleys also under the pulleys be able to calculate effort load velocity ratio mechanical advantage and efficiency then from here you must go to this topic key known as thermophysics and under thermophysics you must look at the simple kinetic theory of matter under the simple kinetic theory of matter you must be able to use the simple kinetic theory of matter to explain change of state under change of state here you must be able to draw graphs for melting of substances or cooling of substances all right also you must be able to use diffusion and brownian motion to explain the kinetic theory of matter and also you must be able to measure temperature all right uh, or under measurement of temperature 
you must be able to describe the suitability of full alcohol and mercury for use in liquid in the glass thermometers and also you must be able to convert between degrees Celsius and Kelvin and also be able to describe the structure and use of a thermocouple thermometer guys if you are finding value in this video please give it a like and let me know in the comment section all right you must be able also to use the ideal gas equation to solve simple numerical problems and also be able to describe heat transfer by conduction convection and radiation and also be able to explain the differences between good and bad heat emitters then you must be able to explain the everyday applications of knowledge on conduction, convection, and radiation. And you must also be able to study this other topic called wave motion. Under wave motion, you have to look at ele electromagnetic spectrum. Under electromagnetic spectrum, you have to be able to state the sources of each of the rays in the electromagnetic spectrum and also be able to describe the method of detection of each of the many components of the electromagnetic spectrum then here you also you have to be able to explain the harmful effects of ultraviolet radiation gamma rays and the x-rays to life and also be able to look at this other topic called sound and other under sound you have to look at the properties of sound and the under properties of sound you must be able to explain how sound is produced and draw rarefactions and compressions and also must be able to illustrate that sound requires a medium for transmission also you must be able to explain the characteristics of sound waves and also describe the factors which influences the quality of sound then be able to state how to minimize the sound pollution from here you need to look at light under light you need to look at rectilinear propagation of light under rectilinear propagation of light you need to state what the rectilinear propagation of light is and also illustrate the formation of shadows and the eclipse under this you have also to look at uh, refraction of light under refraction of light you must be able to explain how total refraction occurs and also you must be able to explain how total internal reflection is used and also be able to calculate the refractive index of a material from here you must also be able to look at lenses under lenses you must be able to explain the action of lenses on beams of light and also use the lens equation uh, given here also you need to look at magnetism under magnetism you look at this subtopic called the simple phenomenon of magnetism which deals with illustration so you must be able to illustrate and explain induced magnetism and also be able to describe the methods of making magnets and destroying magnets also you must be able to look at or be able to distinguish the magnetic properties of iron and steel and also explain the use of magnetic screening and magnetic keepers then from here you need to look at static electricity under static electricity you must be able to explain how to detect electric charges describe the properties and uses of static charges and also describe the electric charging and the discharging of objects from here you need also to be able to explain effects of static charges on the environment and then you move to another topic called current electricity under current electricity you need to look at the use of the ohm's law to calculate voltage current and resistance and also calculate the resistance in a series parallel circuit with ohm's law then from here you need also to be able to calculate electrical energy and also be able to use the uh, power is equal to voltage times current to calculate voltage current and the power you must also be able to calculate the cost of using electrical energy and also be able to describe the use of switches fuses earthing and the three pin plugs you also must be able to illustrate domestic electrical wiring system and also be able to describe ways of conserving electrical energy in homes and industry and also be able to describe the application of the magnetic effect of an electric current here all right you must be able also to 
look at or describe the application of current placed in a magnetic field and also move to another topic known as electromagnetic I mean known as electromagnetic induction under this topic you must be able to look at the phenomenon of electromagnetic induction and be able to illustrate the phenomenon of electromagnetic induction and also be able to describe the factors affecting the magnitude of the induced current here and the voltage and also you must be able to state the direction of current produced in by induced I EMF. So from here you need to look at the simple AC and the DC generator and under this one you must be able to describe the simple AC and the DC and the DC generator and also be able to describe the action of a diode in rectification. Also you need to look at transformers. Under transformers you need to describe the structure and operation of ion core transformers and then apply the transformer and the power equation to solve numerical problems involving ideal transformers and also must be able to calculate the efficiency of a transformer given data. Then from here you must look at basic electronics. Under basic electronics you must be able to look at thermionic emission and the electrons which in which you are supposed to be able to describe what thermionic emission is and also explain properties of cathode rays and also describe the basic structure and action of cathode ray oscilloscope and also describe the use of cathode ray oscilloscope then from here you need to look at radioactivity under radioactivity you need to be able to describe the properties or the characteristics of the three kinds of radioactive radiations alpha beta and gamma and also be able to determine half-life of a radioactive material and also be able to explain uses of radioactive substances and also be able to describe the safety precautions necessary when handling or storing radioactive substances so guys we have come to the end of this video if you found this video helpful please give it a like and let me know in the comment section for now guys bye and see you in my next lesson peace